Good day guys. Today I think it's day 40 of lockdown in South Africa. We're still looking. The beard is still growing very untidy but uh, things have to be done. Today I wanted to tell you that uh, times we spent the uh, our first years and uh, you know like our young adult years saying we're too young and our older years saying we're too old to do something. So I'm going to go through a list with you to show you what other people accomplished in their 80 years or in their later years. So no matter how old you are, you are never too old or too young for success or going after what you want. So here's a short list of people who accomplished great things at different ages. Number one, there's Helen Keller. At the age of 19 months, she became deaf and blind, but that didn't stop her. She was the first deaf and blind person to earn a Bachelor of Arts degree. And then number two, Mozart was already competent on keyboard and violin. He composed from the age of five. Number three, Shelley Temple was six when she became a movie star on Bright Eyes. Number four, Anne Frank was 12 when she wrote The Diary of Anne Frank. Number five, Magnus Carlsen became a chess grandmaster at the age of 13. So you can't say you're too young or you're too old. And then Nadia uh, Kamanensi was a gymnast from Romania that scored seven perfect 10.0 and won three gold medals at the Olympics at the age of 14. Tenzin Gayasto was formally recognized as the 14th Dalai Lama in, the, in November 1950 at the age of 15. Pele, a soccer superstar, was 17 years old when he won the World Cup in 1958 with Brazil. And then uh, Elvis was a superstar by the age of 19. Paul, John Lennon was 20 years and Paul McCartney was 18 when the Beatles had their first concert in 1961. And then Jesse Owens was 22 when he won four gold medals in Berlin in 1936. Number 12, Beethoven was a piano the Chesso by age 23. Isaac Newton wrote Philosophia Naturalis uh, Principal Mathematica at age 24. Roger Bannister was 25 when he broke the four minute mile record. Albert Einstein was 26 when he wrote The Theory of Relativity. Uh, Lance E. Armstrong was 27 when he won the Tour de France. Michelangelo created two of the greatest sculptures, David and Pieta, by the age of 28. Alexander the Great, by the age of 29, had created one of the largest empires of the ancient world. J.K. Rowling was 30 years old when she finished the first manuscript of Harry Potter. Amelia Earhart was 31 years old when she became the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. And Oprah was 32 when she started a talk show, which has become the highest rated program of its kind. Edmund Riley was 33 when he became the first man to reach Mount Everest. Martin Luther King Jr. was 34 when he wrote the speech, I Have a Dream. Number 24, Marie Curie was 35 years old when she got nominated for a Nobel Prize in Physics. Number 25, the Wright brothers, Oville and Wilbur, 30, Oville 32 and Wilbur 36, invented and built the world's first successful aeroplane and making the first controlled, power, controlled powered and sustained heavy, heavy, heavier and than a human flight. Vincent van Gogh was 37 when he, when he died virtually unknown, yet his paintings today are worth millions. Neil Armstrong was 38 when he became the first man to set foot on the moon. And then, uh, that's number 27. Number 28, Mark Twain was 40 when he wrote The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and 40 year, 49 years old when he wrote Adventures of Huckberry Finn. Number 29, Christopher Columbus was 41 when he discovered the Americas. Number 30, Rosa Parks was 42 when she refused to obey the bus driver's order to give up a seat to make room for a white passenger. 
Number 31, John F. Kennedy was 43 years old when he became president of the United States. And um, number 32, Henry Ford was 45 when the Ford T came out. Susan Collins was 46 when she wrote The Hunger Games. 34, Charles Darwin was 50 years old when his book On the Origin of Species came out. Leonardo da Vinci was 51 years old when he painted the Mona Lisa. Abraham Lincoln was 52 when he became president. And Ray Kroc of McDonald's was 53 when he bought the McDonald's franchise and took it to unprecedented levels. Number 38, Dr. Zeus was um, 54 when he wrote The Cat in the Hat. Number 40, Chelsea Sullenberger, three, was 57 years old when he successfully ditched U.S. Airways flight 1549 in the Hudson River in 2009. All of the 155 passengers aboard the aircraft survived. Co Colonel Harlan Sanders was 61 when he started the KFC franchise. And number 42, J.R.R. Tolkien was 462 when he, the Lord of the Ring books came out. Ronald Reagan was 69 when he became president of the United States. Jack Lalen at age 70 handcuffed, shackled, told 70 robots. Nelson Mandela was 76 when he became president. So never say you're too young or you're too old to do anything. You can do anything at age practically any age, as long as you've got the will and the passion and the desire to accomplish what you want to do. So I hope this article will help you and uh, it inspires you what other people have achieved. And uh, it's, a, it's amazing that um, Nelson Mandela, at the age of 76, he became the president of South Africa when he was in, in prison for almost 20, over 25 years and at Robin Island and persecuted by the regime so never lose sight of your dreams never stop dreaming you can achieve anything that you want to dream so don't say i'm too young or i'm too old you are perfect you are at the perfect age to achieve anything that you want thank you so much my name is dan if this article makes sense for you please don't forget to subscribe thank you so much bye